Hello, Rafael. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm just a little tired, but I'm good. <laughs> That's good. I imagine it's Monday. A hard Monday, but Monday. Yes. How oh. are you? I'm doing great. Tired as well, but doing good. Arriving. <laughs> You have another uh, job? Yes, <laughs> I do have another job. I am the principal in an academy and it's a lot of work. Mm, I imagine. <laughs> yes, I have to be taking care of the teachers, the students, the groups, the attendance, administrative stuff, many things. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's, I mean, uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> it is It is something that I really like, but uh, I don't teach. Okay. Yes, I just coordinate everything with the teachers, but I don't teach classes there. Only if it is an emergency, right? A menos que se enferme un maestro o tenga alguna emergencia, algún, no sé. Solo en, ese, en esos casos eh, agarro el grupo y le doy clases. Okay. But it's, it's interesting. Okay. Now, and, and at night, I, I do this one, right? I teach here, and it's, it's pretty nice. I really enjoy teaching. I have been teaching during all this time. I mean, only this year and a half, I have been in the, in the principal's um, office. Because before I was just a teacher. Yeah. But I, I, I really like it. And I then I do have other students that are like in Good evening, teacher. Classes. Hello, Alayda. I have Hello, other, Alayda. other students in, in private classes that are like professionals and I work with them. Yeah, but this is like a private session, right? It's just for them. Also, yeah, also, <laughs> it is this the teaching life is it's very, very hard. No sé dónde saca tanta energía. <laughs> Ni yo tampoco. Yeah, yeah, las once ya, así como, yeah, enough. <laughs> Motivation pay bills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eh, eres pobre, Ricky. <ríe> Vamos a trabajar. <ríe> yeah. uh, dicen, dicen, no somos pobres, somos de recurso limitado. <ríe> Ajá, algo así. No. Y, y es que, o sea, es, es curioso que el, la educación no es un, o sea, es un rubro bien, bien atareado, pero lastimosamente es un, un rubro bastante mal. Eh, cotizado <risa> pero o bueno. sea es, es depende depende por eso hay que tener como because, dif different sources <risa> because my mother was a teacher ajá uh, of ele elementary school ah my goodness in a, yeah. in a in a school or in a in a private school in a school but ah. But in the last day of, because my mother is retired, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the last year, she, ah, uh, le pagaron más que a mí. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. She, she got paid higher than me, I say. Ah, okay. She got paid higher, higher than, than me. me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, nice it's because her. nice for her <laughs> because <laughs> of the experience, the years. And, and I mean, that is something good that they have, that depending on the years that they have, the salary is higher and higher. I do. I really respect people who work in public schools. It's very difficult. 
very difficult. <laughs> I work in a public school like for a year and a half. Nah. <laughs> I won't. It's like I do. I, I respect them. I respect them a lot. I remember that I had groups with 75 students. What? <laughs> yes. And it was so hard because they were in high school. And imagine 75 high school students. For one class? For one class. For one section. One section. Yeah, I had A, B, C, and D. No, that was terrible. <laughs> That was like the years on which I learned a lot. I learned a lot from them. I aprendí un montón. <laughs> a lot. A lot of, of patients. Yeah, a lot of different types of patients. They they said they set the classroom on fire one time. <laughs> just just for you to imagine. Le dieron fuego al salón de clases una vez. That was so terrible. I believe it. I believe it. So I, I, I do respect all, all parents and teachers and all these people who work in public schools. Well, this was a little intro, but nothing compares with the boy who threw the sister from the second floor with an umbrella. Yeah. Creo que la historia de la niña y la sombría del segundo piso ha sido la top one de este día. <laughs> It's because I just imagine, I imagine Raul pushing her. <laughs> I was like, eh. I, I, I just imagine him. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> the dark side of Raul. The dark side of Raul. Hey, Raul, you push her, right? ¿Verdad que usted la empujó? Yeah. Abrí la sombrilla, le <laughs> <laughs> it is like I, I was going to share my my childhood memory but I decided to keep it for the for the class I remember that we used to have a hammock in the middle of of the living room in my house and the thing was to to get yourself in the hammock right meterte en la maca, and to cover yourself with the hammock and to turn around right that was the thing right dos estaban en las orillas y le daban vuelta a la maca right Mientras tú te amarrabas como un tamalito. That was the thing in my house. So I, I used to have my neighbors, my friends from, from the neighborhood to come to my house to play with the hammock. So one day we said to one of them that was very thin. Había uno que era como el más sequito de todos. And we say, Franklin, get in the hammock. And Franklin said, no, no, I am afraid. I get in the hammock. And we put Franklin in the hammock. But the thing is that Franklin didn't cover himself very well. And we were doing it in the hammock, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, we saw like, Franklin flying away from the hammock to the wall, just like, no. And Franklin was on the wall, like, and he fell on the floor. And his arm, his arm was to the other side. <laughs> and we were like, we killed Franklin. With... <laughs> because Franklin was on the floor like, <laughs> and he was not responding, right? <laughs> and so all the neighborhood was in my house, right? Mi mamá trabajaba de siete a cuatro. Entonces siempre estábamos solos. Todos los de la cuadra llegaban a la casa. <laughs> so all the neighborhood kids were like, we killed Franklin. And Franklin was on the floor. Like... And so all of a sudden, Franklin reacted, right? And we said like, he's alive. It was... <laughs> and he reacted, but his arm was to the other side. He was broken, right? So I remember that Franklin uh, was afraid. And he said, I cannot tell my mother that I fell down. I need to go to my house like this. So Franklin went to his house with the arm like this. And he told his mother that he felt from the sidewalk. La grada de Chalchuapa son sumamente altas. Los andenes son muy altos. Entonces Franklin dijo que él se había caído del andén. And his mother took him to the hospital and everything. And so we were like, ah, poor Franklin and everything. But later, later, like 15 years later, we we told the truth 
yeah, we were adults now, right? We were like 20 years old in something. But we went to Franklin's mother and we say, Niña Alicia, Franklin never fell from the sidewalk. <laughs> he fell from the hammock because we <laughs> threw him away. <laughs> and we were 20 years old back then. <laughs> but poor Franklin, his arm is all twisted. Right? Su brazo nunca fue el mismo. But <laughs> porque le quedó como para afuera. Así. <laughs> but, um, you see, that was my childhood story, right? And I have so many more stories of crazy things. But Franklin, poor Franklin, right? Franklin, si algún día ves este video, no te quisimos quebrar el brazo. <laughs> he was learning to fly too. He was learning to fly. That's why I laugh so much with Raul and his story, yeah. because I just imagine the sister like, no, nah! exactly <laughs> like was Franklin. The last name hey. of Franklin is Guerra. <laughs> no, okay. no, it's not, it's not Guerra, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> no les del otro pedido, but no, I don't remember that it's Guerra. I have to investigate. <laughs> maybe it's the he, same friend. He was a uh, chubby? No, he was thin. He was very thin. Ah, okay. Yeah. No, it's, so the, it's, the, not, it's not that the same Franklin. I think. <laughs> Yo conocí a la que te quebra el brazo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, he was very thin. Por eso salió volando, porque era muy flaco. No, no, se, no se agarró bien, sorry. <laughs> Estrategia. <laughs> so, you see, all, a lot of stories. I just imagine uh, Carlos running from the hen and his mother throwing him a, a, a broom, right? Yo solo vi la escoba pasar así. Cuando se la tiraron al pobre Carlos. Yeah, but he was he was taking the the eggs from the hen. I mean that that was okay. That the hen was chasing him to catch him. So there are there are many good things to to reflect about when we think about childhood stories. And it was a good a very good topic for the day. So if you still want to share your story with us, it will be a pleasure to listen to it. So my dear class. Welcome to your class number 15. We are going to go over a little bit on reports today, a little bit of um, present progressive practice, and um, we are going to do a little bit of interaction and one-on-one -on -one, uh, work. We're going to work in couples, and we're going to have a little, a little bit of production on grammar as well. So that is what we're going to be doing today and tomorrow. We start uh, our last unit, unit number four. So please, if you haven't finished unit number three on the platform, we are going to review that tomorrow. So please have it ready for tomorrow, okay? El día de mañana vamos a revisar la plataforma, la unidad tres. So please uh, try to work on that, okay? Traten de, de ir a hacer los ejercicios. Son bastante sencillos, solo más que todo de, de selection. So please go and work on unit number three because we are going to check on that tomorrow. Mañana la vamos a revisar. Vamos a hacer todos los ejercicios. Si no la han terminado todavía, pues metámonos a trabajarla. Ya en este momento ya obviamente la unidad uno, dos y midterm ya están todos terminados para todos. Espero que todos la hayan podido terminar. Solo creo que me hacía falta Paola. No sé si ya está conectada. No, no veo a Paola todavía. Creo que me hacía falta por ahí que me terminaron los ejercicios. Pero de ahí por los demás todos han trabajado bastante bien. Así que hay alguno de ustedes que todavía le, eh, no haya empezado a trabajar en la unidad 3, chicos. O todos o algunos ya la terminaron. Rafael, ¿te la terminaste? No, todavía te falta empezar. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué Antonio. Un... Ajá. Ah, Rafael Antonio. ¿Qué tal vamos con la unidad 3? ¿Ya la terminó, verdad? Sí. Ajá. Yes, yes. Yes, que sí. <laughs> yes, que sí. Hernán. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Eh, solo ten, solamente tengo una inquietud. Eh, Dígame. Estamos verificando que en la plataforma eh, nos aparece nada más como un 53% de asistencia. Y tengo una inquietud porque a estas alturas, por lo común, casi ya vamos llegando al 80%. Cuando ya nos acercamos ya al cuarto... Eh, la cuarta ¿qué, área, 
Entonces, no, no sé por qué sigue apareciendo 53% nada más de asistencia. Eh, no es el 53% de asistencia. En realidad en la plataforma no sé si le, pues, si le sale su asistencia. La que les enviaron la vez pasada al, al cuadrito. Por eso me está preguntando. Eh, no, porque estaba revisando la plataforma. Como yo Ajá. ya terminé la, eh, la tercera parte. Entonces pero, en, me llamó la atención lo que es la asistencia. Todavía refleja un 53% nada más. Entonces, ok. Y, Ajá. Ajá. Por lo común, cuando ya vamos a la cuarta parte, o sea, ya eh, prácticamente casi ya vamos acercándonos al 80, pero eh, me he estado percatando que solo el 53% aparece, entonces no, no sé okay. si es lo que hicieron o, o falta no, todavía. No, todavía nos, todavía nos falta, pero ya me deja una inquietud. Al menos en la plataforma no se refleja su asistencia. En la plataforma lo que se refleja es el avance, el avance que lleva avance. usted en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, este, cuando usted complete todos sus ejercicios, si todos los ejercicios han quedado arriba, del, o sea, si todos los ejercicios están en el 100%, su plataforma obviamente le va a ir mostrando ese avance de, de, sí. de cuánto usted ha ido trabajando. Porque la asistencia es la que yo llevo aparte, que es la que les estaban haciendo, la que, la que les estaban haciendo un enfoque el otro día. ¿Se recuerdan que les mandaron un, un avance que decían que tenían 60%, 75% y algo así? En el cuadrito que les envió Claudia al, al chat. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, la asistencia, su asistencia al curso, obviamente es la que yo les tomo todos los días. Yo todos okay. los días les tomo asistencia y ahí lo que cuenta mucho en su asistencia son los minutos en los que se conecta. Si usted sí. se conecta, obviamente, desde que inicia la clase hasta que finaliza la clase, tiene sus 120 minutos de clase sin problema. Ok. Entonces, okay. a veces el problema sucede cuando de repente unos entran ya como a las ocho y media, nueve de la noche, o que a veces no se conectan. Entonces, ahí es donde la asistencia va bajando. Eh, es por eso que ella les hacía mucho énfasis en que se tienen que conectar todos los días a toda la clase. ¿okay? Por eso siempre les insisto, mantengan sus cámaras encendidas, mantengan su, eh, su sesión activa durante las dos horas. Hay muchos que de repente tienen actividades que hacer y es como de suma importancia y pues eh, que de repente me dicen mira estoy yo oyente pero pero este estoy trabajando pues estoy aquí presente creo que oyentes legales solo tengo uno así que de repente los otros que me dicen mira estoy trabajando estoy haciendo esto yo comprendo mucho esa parte pero eh, me gusta que están pendientes siempre de cualquier ejercicio cualquier cosa que hagan Así okay. que eso, eso es la parte de asistencia. En la cuestión de progreso, cuando usted ve la plataforma, y quizás aquí nos vamos a ir, se la voy a compartir. Eh, esta es, por ejemplo, la mía. Yo no estoy como participante, sino que voy haciendo lo, los ejercicios cuando los hago con ustedes. ¿Es esto lo que usted ha estado este, observando? Sí. Sí. Bueno, este es sí. su progreso de trabajo. Si se fijan, por ejemplo, aquí yo tengo barras que están como a media, ¿verdad? Si usted sí. no ha completado los ejercicios, estas barras le van a salir hacia medias. Okay. Todas las barras de todos los ejercicios tendrían que estar hasta el 100% en todos sus ejercicios. ¿Por qué? Porque los hemos ido revisando, los hemos ido haciendo juntos, les he enseñado eh, cuáles son las cosas correctas que hay que hacer, cómo hay que corregirlos, y ahí hemos ido haciendo todas las, las unidades. Entonces, la idea es que usted lleve todo su progreso de la plataforma en un 100%. Por eso siempre les digo y les insisto, si tienen algún problema, algún ejercicio que hayan dejado abajo del 100%, vayan, repárenlo, revísenlo y que pues obviamente les queden todas las respuestas correctas para que su progreso vaya total y parejo. Por ejemplo, aquí imagínense, yo tengo solo 44% porque obviamente yo no he hecho todos los ejercicios de la plataforma, sino que yo se los voy mostrando y los vamos trabajando con ustedes solo como poniendo la respuesta, ¿verdad? porque yo no estoy inscrita como alumno, sino que como instructor. Entonces, eh, ustedes, si ya terminaron toda la, la unidad 1, tienen que tener esto al 100%. La 2 también, ajá, la 3 igual. Entonces, tiene que revisar, Hernán, que todos los ejercicios estén completos y al 100. Ok. Ok, para que Bien. su progreso vaya avanzando eh, de manera... Eh, cabal y aquí igual le falta todavía los ejercicios de los final exams que por eso esos tienen también buen porcentaje y ahí es donde les va a ir subiendo obviamente el nivel de progreso que lleven 
Entonces, si usted se ha fijado y va completando las secciones, vea cuáles son las que no ha terminado o cuáles son las que le falta completar para que usted pueda tener todas las secciones al 100%. Si se, ¿Sí se fija, ajá. Si se fija, mi sección 1 salía al 80%, porque aquí tengo un ejercicio que no está completado. Entonces, okay. si yo me voy aquí y digo, ajá, tengo que hacerlo y escribo ya las preguntas y todo, escribo las respuestas, ya me va a salir al 100% mi barrita ahí del número 1. Entonces, tiene que ir a revisar de cuáles ejercicios le han quedado a medias, cuáles ejercicios no están completados al 100%, para que su progreso vaya ordenado. Así que... Eh, el día de mañana vamos a revisar toda la unidad número 3 porque aquí la tengo yo en blanco porque la vamos a trabajar juntos mañana okay. vamos a hacer toda la unidad 3 pero eh, avancenla ustedes para que cuando ya la vengamos a hacer ya solo sea como un repaso si yo lo hice y así es para que su progreso vaya completo y ustedes puedan tener su, su plataforma al 100% y traten de que al menos todas estas últimas clases que nos quedan, estas últimas cinco clases de aquí para allá no perder ninguna para que también su asistencia esté al, arriba del 80%. ¿Ok? Ok. Está bien, es, teacher. Esa fue nuestra, nuestra sesión de reflexión mm -hmm. del momento. Ok, thank you. Okay, teacher. good. Well, so welcome to our class number 15. And today we are going to work on creating reports. We're going to create little reports on behavior and you are going to create little reports about your classmates. And for sure, let's just remember our agreements. Remember, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep your microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Thank you very much for being here on time. Keep a cooperative attitude. Participate as much as possible. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Thank you for reacting to the audios. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for working along with your friends. Remember, if you listen to mistakes on the audios, you can also comment on that, right? It is good that not only wait for the teacher to comment. If you listen to something that you know that is different or that you can comment about it, do it. Work on the platform every single day remember it. Well, I am going to call the attendance in a moment. Let me just open it. But uh, we're going to start, we're going to discuss some questions, right? I am going to open the attendance, but first I will let you work in on this. I have here a couple of questions with uh, ING forms. And I have the first one here that says, is working Ben today? Is Ben working today? Right, that is the question. The next one, what the children are doing? What are the children doing? What about the next one? You are listening to me. What is the question for this one? Are, are you, listening, are you to listening to me? Are you listening to me? Right, are you listening to me? What about the question mark? And I, it's at the end, but I think I cut it. Yo creo que estaba al final de la línea y yo lo corté. Yeah, I cut it. <laughs> Sorry. Are you listening to me? And then you have it. Here you can place it at the end as well. Estaba al final de la línea. There you go. ta -da. And this one too. Okay. Ahí está. Ya ven. Nuestro corazón está en paz. What about the next one? It says, where your friends are going? What is the question for this one? Where are going your friends? Mm. Where are your friends going? Very good job. Where are your friends going? Where are your friends going? What will be the translation for this question? Where are your friends going? ¿Cómo la traduciríamos? Where are your friends going? ¿A dónde irán tus amigos? Where are your friends going? What would be the most like logical question for this one? ¿A dónde van? ¿A dónde van? ¿A dónde van tus amigos? Right? ¿A dónde van? In El Salvador you will say ¿Para, ¿para dónde, dónde van? van? <laughs> right? 
because you have a where, para donde, right? Para donde van tus amigos? But the question is, donde van tus amigos, right? If it is very curious, right? And that's why Spanish is one of the most difficult languages to learn. Because if you say, donde van tus amigos? Ahí van. Para donde van tus amigos? Para tal parte. So it has two different connotations. It has two different meanings. And in this case, as we, as we have, where are your friends going? It's like, para donde? Because you need a place in the answer. They are going to the supermarket. They are going to the hotel. They are going to uh, the park. I don't know. They are going to cathedral. I don't know, to check on the Christmas lights. Where are your friends going? What about the next one? Are watching your parents' TV. What will be the first word? What? Do you have a what in the options? Ah, uh, no. Are your parents watching TV? Uh -huh. Are your what? Are your parents? Are your what? Parents. 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 parents, right? Very good job. Are your parents watching TV? Watching TV. Yeah, yo creo que en mis 19 años de maestra, Esa ha sido una palabra con la que todo mundo pelea. Parents, you see. My parents. Say, my parents. Parents. Also, children's. Children's. It's another famous one. The children's. You say, like, no, children's doesn't exist because it cannot be plural. Children is the plural form, right? Are your parents watching TV? What about the next one? What Jessica is cooking? What is Jessica cooking? Very good. What is Jessica cooking? What is Jessica cooking? Okay. <clears throat> what is she cooking? I don't know. Maybe cookies. Pizza. Pizza. She's cooking, I don't know, a cake. She's cooking uh, pastries. She's cooking, I don't know whatever thing why you are looking at me why are why are you looking at me why are you looking at me why are why are you that's a complicated thing que me está viendo <laughs> it's good que you... te gusto dicen <laughs> te gusto que <laughs> I always say, tomame una foto, dura más. <laughs> That's what I say. Why are you looking at me? That's a very complicated question in El Salvador. Because it will be like, ¿Qué me ves, pues? And then the other one, ¿Y qué, pues? And then <laughs> it starts a fight. So you have to be very careful with this question. <clears throat> in high school, it was very common. Right. En bachillerato no podías decir eso. <coughs> Dice, like, ¿qué me ves? Pues? ¿Y qué me ves vos a mí? Pues? And then, ¿qué qué? ¿Por qué no qué? Entonces todo, play, todo, play, todo. Ah, ah, de, de. It was a very common situation. Is coming the bus? Is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? Is the bus coming? How would you say that in, in Spanish? You say, is the bus coming? And, and many people will say, ¿Está el, el bus? <laughs> ¿Está el bus viniendo? <laughs> it will be like, what? That is normal translation, right? If you translate exactly as it is, right? You say like, ¿Está el bus viniendo vos? No, but you never go. Imagine you in Salvador del Mundo. Eh, disculpe, está el bus viniendo. He'll be like, what? Sorry? Ya pasó el bus. Ah, no, no, todavía no. Ya viene el bus. That's the question here. So, in this one, we have simple questions and we have yes or no answers. Short answers. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Yes, he is, or no, he's not. And it says, are you watching TV right now? I'm not. 
No, I am not, right? No, I am not. What is the next question? Are you wearing a watch? Are you wearing a watch right now? People? Yes. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm, not. no I'm not. I'm not wearing a watch right now. I'm so, wearing a watch. You are wearing a watch. Very good. So, but most of us are not wearing a watch. What is the next question? Are you eating something? Are you eating something right now? No, no I'm not. not. No, I am. No, no, I, no, I am not, right? No, I am not, teacher. We not, teacher. Come on, cre. No, I am not, right? What is the next question? Is it raining? Is it raining, right? Is it raining? Is it raining right now near your house? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't, right? Not, not yet. Maybe later, but not right now. What about the next question? Are you sitting on the floor? Are you sitting on the floor? No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. I am not. Where are you no, sitting? I'm sitting in the chair. I am sitting on a chair. On right? the chair. I am so. sitting on a chair. On the bed. On the, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on the bed, right? What are you sitting? Are you sitting in the dining table? I'm sitting on the sofa. I am sitting on the sofa. Good. I am sitting on the sofa. Carlos, where are you? I can see your head now. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm sitting on, on the bed. <laughs> on the bed, right? On the bed. What about Nelson? I'm sitting on the sofa. On the sofa, right? Rafael is sitting on a chair, but be careful, Rafael. Don't do that. If not, I will see your feet later on. Que Rafael lo veo que se, se deja ir de un solo en toda la silla. Yeah, and de un momento a otro siento que ver los piecitos nada más así. <laughs> Cesar, where are you sitting? All my moves are calculated. I know. Cesar, oh, Cesar is fighting with the with the audio. Jose Luis, uh huh. Yeah, te oigo, Cesar. I am sitting in the chair. On the chair. I'm sitting on a chair. Good. And Jose Luis, where are you sitting? I'm sitting on a chair. On a chair. Good. <clears throat> are you feeling well, people? Are you feeling well? Yes, I am, teacher. Yes, yes I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yo creo que la, la, la semana dos fue la de la, <coughs> la, la, los catarros. <laughs> y fuimos como dominos. Todos caímos en la misma semana. But now you're feeling well, right? Horacio, are you feeling well now? Yes, I am, teacher. You see, you sound clear. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Week number two. Ayer me fui a ver todos los videos y en la semana dos estaban como, I am very good, teacher. <laughs> como poseídos, sonábamos todos. I'm sick again. You are sick again, mm -hmm. Nelson? Yeah, My uh, goodness. This is terrible. I know. Oh, my, Magdiel too? That is so nice. <laughs> my God. <laughs> terrible. Lo voy a llevar a Nahuizal con ella. Ya le ha mucho. It's too much. It's too much for two weeks. No, it, it is fun that all of a sudden I am talking and everything like... <laughs> It's, uh, me siento como el meme ese. <laughs> Todos en este momento. <laughs> me they no need a new cup of from at the same as Wilbur. You see, that's, that, I don't know. You have very good medicine, people. I don't know who was the one who was healing with tequila the other day. It's the better with lemon. <laughs> it's the best, you say. It is not the better. It's the best. I, I, I try to say it. It's lo mejor de lo mejor. It's the best of the best, you say. Okay, okay. It is the best of the best. Because in a superlative, you say the best. Good, better, the best. 
So those are the three forms of comparison, right? When you go, I, but that, I, we're going to do a, a mini class on comparatives and superlatives. Okay, I am going to call the attendance. Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? I am going to open my, okay, there you go. Here we go. And here, here we are. Today is the 21st, right? Aleida Esmeralda? Present teacher. Andrea Sofia? Eh, Andrea. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Blanca Alejandra? Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo? Present. Cesar Amaya? Present teacher. Ellen Nielsen? Present teacher. Eric? Hernán Antonio Presente teacher Horacio José Presente teacher José Luis Juan Francisco Carla Guadalupe Presente teacher Nelson Presente teacher Paola Elena Presente teacher Rafael Alexander Present teacher. Okay, Rafael, eh, este día sería su one on one al final, unos cinco minutitos al final de la clase. Se puede okay. quedar ahora. Please. So, okay. okay, I will steal you for a couple of minutes at the end of the class. Eh, tomorrow will be Rafael Antonio. Okay. Yes. And on Wednesday, <coughs> Ra Raúl Ernesto. On Thursday, Wilber, and on Friday, Jasmine. Okay, and Magdiel on Monday. Okay, así que esa, ese orden llevaríamos ahora. Ahora es Rafael Alexander, mañana Rafael Antonio, el miércoles Raúl, el jueves Wilber, el viernes Jasmine, y el lunes Magdiel. Y ahí terminamos. Okay, so Rafael Alexander is here. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raúl Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. And Magdiel Esau. Present. Yay, we have perfect attendance today. I am so happy for that. Very good, right? Segundo día consecutivo que tenemos. Perfect attendance. That is so nice. I feel very glad because all of us are here. All of us. Juan Francisco. Yeah, Juan Francisco is here. Good. So let's keep working. Thank you very much for answering the attendance. Let's keep working then. Here, uh, we have different questions, right? We have different questions with ING forms. And I made different questions for you. Are you watching TV? Are you wearing a watch? Are you eating something? Is it raining? Are you sitting on the floor? Are you feeling well? And I need you to create a question for me create a question in the ING form for me. Go ahead. I ask you questions. Now ask me questions. Teacher, are you? Teacher, are you feeling well? I am feeling well, thank God. I am not sick anymore. Hey. Teacher, are you teaching English? I am indeed. I am teaching English for you. Good, question. Five, four, uh -huh. sure. Are you eating some snack right now? No, I don't have today. Qué mal servicio. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sí, ya me voy a poner una queja en administración que no me traen snacks aquí a la clase. Sir, are you watching World Cup today? <laughs> I listened about it, but I didn't watch any uh, game, right? I didn't oh. watch any game. Yeah, I heard that someone played like Estados Unidos. I don't really know. Yeah. And I was watching the memes, right? How, how do you say empate? Tight. Tied. Tied. It was tied. You say T-I-E-D. It was tied. Empatado. Right. I was I was reading the memes and that's why I found it out, right? 
si compro en Dollar City en el shopping center, <risa> obviamente Ay. apoyo a la selección de Estados Unidos. <risa> And I was like, pretty accurate, I said. I, I think Thai was uh, uh, amarrado. Yeah, it is indeed, tied. But uh, in, in the game, for example, you say like the game was tied. In that oh, okay. context, it means empatado. Right? But if you say, for example, I have to tie my shirt, it means that you have to tie it up in, in, in a cordon, right? Like this, right? That is to tie it up. If you say tie your shoes, it's not that que estamos empatando los zapatos, right? Tie your shoes is amarrate los zapatos. Tie your tie, amarrate la corbata. Wow. So it's like, it, it is a very varied context, depending on what you are talking about. But tied in the matter of games, it's empate. Questions? Teacher, are you wearing a necklace? Yes, I am. I am wearing a necklace. Are you listening to me? I am listening to you, indeed. Are you listening to me? Good question. Good. Another one. Teacher, are you drinking coffee? No, I have water today. <laughs> Qué mal servicio, tampoco me trajeron café, mire. <laughs> are you using uh, shoes? I am, indeed. Yeah, many people wear uh, chancletas when they teach. But I keep my uniform. That's me. <laughs> yeah. A ver, foto de la chancleta. <laughs> I pass. <clears throat> yeah. The only, the only thing that I always wear is shorts. But I always wear shoes. So that is like the, the uniform <laughs> for the classes. Yeah, in the you pandemic. You used to say the, the, the blows and then for the so much for under with the hammer. No, I, 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 maybe around December when it is a little bit cooler, yes, I wear the pajamas. But here in, at least in this office that I have, that it's at the end of the house, it's very hot. So it's like, so it's Teacher. like, uh-huh. You like to cooking? I do like cooking. I love cooking a lot. Okay. I do love cooking. Everything, okay. every type of things, right? Cakes, cookies, bakery, and traditional things. The only thing that I cannot cook are tamales. Okay. My mother can, but I can't. Yeah. And pupusas, teacher? Pupusas, I can do it. Yeah. Oh. Teacher, muy famosa. Uh -huh. are you taking are you taking shower today uh, right now i am not taking a shower <laughs> because that would be weird <laughs> but uh, in that case that's a very good question and i was going to make the question along with the one that mcbiel asked me he said like are you watching the world cup today okay in ese caso sería did you watch Viste el partido? Did you watch? In this case, on your question, it would be like, did you take? Mm -hmm. Ahí nos iríamos a el, el pasado, right? Did you take a shower today? Yes, I did, right? ¿Te bañaste ahora? Yes. But if you say, are you taking a shower right now? It would be kind of difficult because of all the electricity around me. <laughs> it would be like, sí, quizás me agarra fuego la laptop. <laughs> maybe not but the question will be uh, are you taking a shower right now and if they say yes or no right are you planning to take a shower after class that's okay. another thing right ¿Te vas a bañar después de clase? ¿Estás planeando bañarte después de clase? many people do it right no sé cuántos de ustedes se bañan antes de irse de costar but many people like it right o estamos tan rendidos que solo así como off and then you fall out. Hernan? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> you like to take showers before going to bed. Yeah. That's good. So you sleep fresh. That's nice. Yeah. Being fresh. Yeah, being, being fresh. <laughs> Para no, dormir the person again. say that's uh, uh, a wrong thing. 
Uh -huh. Many people say that it's not correct, right? But I have, for example, I, well, I like to shower before going to bed, but in some cases I am too tired and I'm like, no, off. Yeah, Natalia salido del grupo. I turn off the camera and go to sleep. <laughs> in some cases I would like to do that too. Yeah, yo también quisiera hacer eso. <laughs> so, adiós, bye, click. Yeah, pero todavía echamos ahí una platicadita antes de dormir. <laughs> Mi hijo guarda todas sus preguntas para antes de dormir. Me dice, like, ajá, sí, sí, mi amor, sí, ah, sí, mi amor, cómo no. And I am falling asleep. So, that's the difference. So, if you are asking about events that happen during the day, but they are over, it's past tense, right? Did you watch the game? Did you watch the match? Did you take a shower? That it's past tense. But about situations that are happening or that we are planning to happen later, present continues, okay? Good, good examples of questions. Now, we are going to jump a little bit on uh, normal sentences, right? Here we have a, a picture about Jane, right? Jane is doing different activities and we are going to create questions or sorry, sentences about her in affirmative or negative. And I have two examples. I have have dinner. Jane isn't having dinner, right? Porque ahorita no está cenando. She is watching TV, yes. What about the next one? Sit on the floor, affirmative or negative? Affirmative. How would, be this, how would you make the sentence? She's sitting, sitting on the floor. floor. She is sitting on the floor, right? She is not sitting in the chair. Okay, she is sitting on, on the, the floor. She is not sitting on the chair. She is not sitting on the sofa, right? <clears throat> so we have the questions there. What about number two? Number number two. <laughs> number four. She is reading a book or she is not reading a book. She is not reading a book. She is not reading a book. What about number six? Laugh. What is the meaning of laugh? Do you know? Reír. Reír, Reír right? But, okay. Number five, play the piano. Yes She's or no? Not. Affirmative or negative? negative? She's not playing the piano. She's She's not, right? She is not, right? She is not playing the piano. Does she playing have a piano, piano in her house? Yes, yes she has. She, does. she has a piano, yes. but she is not she playing the piano. piano. What about Kiara? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> la Kiara me puso la silla. Okay. Are you playing with Kiara? No, she's hitting me. <laughs> I was like mm -hmm. sitting and then. <laughs> es que ella cree que es un perro pequeño y puede pasar atrás de mi silla, pero no cabe. <laughs> so, she has a piano, but she is not playing the piano. She's What about laughing? <laughs> laughing? Is yes. she laughing? She is laughing. Yes, laughing. She is. laughing. yes, she is laughing. Right? She's laughing. She's laughing, right? In that case, you only add ing to laugh, right? Laughing. What about number <laughs> number six? Sorry. Yes. Puedes Laughing for sure. You only add the ing form, exactly like that. Laughing. Laughing. A la misma palabra que tenemos, solo le agregamos ING. And she is laughing. Yes. Yeah. What about number mm -hmm. seven? We're, we're wearing a hat. She is wearing a hat. She is wearing a hat, right? She is wearing a hat. Wearing, right? Se lo ponemos al primero, que obviamente que es el verbo, wearing. Because hat es un noun. Lo podemos poner el ING, a hat. Wear a hatting. <laughs> That would be out of place, wearing a hat. What about the number eight? She's not drinking, is drinking, drinking coffee. coffee. She is not drinking coffee, right? She, she is not, is not drinking, drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Yeah. Good, very good job. She is not drinking coffee. Okay, about this ones. Here you have the sentences, but they are not complete. Exactly as what we had on that one, but Here are not questions. They are normal sentences. I wash my hair. It says, I am not washing my hair. Or I am washing my hair. It is no. 
it is snowing or it is not snowing, right? What about number three? Affirmative or negative? Affirmative, did you? Okay, created an affirmative. You can create affirmative or negative sentences. Up to you. I sitting on a car. I am sitting on a chair. I am sitting on a chair. I am sitting on a chair. Good. What about number four? How would you create it? I am not eating. I am not eating. And if it is affirmative? I am, I am eating. eating. I am eating, right? Number five. It's raining. It is raining. It is raining, it is it is raining. raining or in negative? It's raining. It's not it raining. Is raining. It is not raining. 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 In questions? Is it, is it raining? raining? Is it raining? Good. Number six. Can you send number six on the chat, please? Send number six on the chat. It can be six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Choose one. Escojan una de esas cinco y envíenlo al chat. Six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Send it on the chat. Go ahead. Okay, English with capital all the time, right? English siempre lleva mayúscula. Good, I am learning English, good. I am not reading a newspaper, good. I am listening to music. I am not wearing shoes. I, I listening to music, I am. Remember, I am listening to music. I am wearing oh. shoes, good. Good, I am wearing shoes. I am not wearing shoes. I am not reading a newspaper, good. The sun is not shining, no, because it's at night, right? The sun, I am not watching TV. Y oigo la tele. Come on, <laughs> don't lie to me. I am wearing shoes. The question, Hernan, will be, am I, am I wearing shoes? Am I wearing shoes? I am not reading a newspaper. I am learning English. I think Salvadorians are some of the, maybe I would say we are the only ones that love to ask questions to ourselves. Yo creo que nosotros nos preguntamos a nosotros mismos un montón de cosas. Cerré la puerta. Desconecté la plancha, apagué la cocina, eh, bañé al chucho, le di de comer al chucho, no me acuerdo, traje las llaves, ando el celular, traje el cargador. We ask ourselves a lot of questions. And that is very, that's very common in El Salvador, right? Is the sun shining? Good. I am not listening to music. Good. I am not eating yet because you are going to eat later, right? The sun is not shining, it is sleeping. Good, Nelson. I am learning English. I am not watching TV. TV, eh, siempre con mayúsculas, igual que inglés, right? TV. Okay, good, very excellent questions, right? The sun is shining in Japan. <laughs> yeah. In Thailand as well, and in Australia, and in Armenia, right? The sun is shining in the other side of the world, but not here right now. Very good sentences. Very good sentences. Uy, ¿qué pasó? Ah, no, era lita. It's okay. ¿Qué pasó? I said. Good. So, here I have a short reading about Mary and her family. And we're going to go over it. And we are going to take out, for example, the ING forms that we have as examples. And I am going to mention right now a couple of words and you have to tell me where can you find them in the reading, okay? I think it is okay like that. I think all of you can read it. Yes. Okay. So if I tell you, 
Where is the word dinosaurs in the reading? What is the word dinosaurs? ¿En qué, en qué frase, en qué oración encontramos esa palabra? Seven sentence. Ajá, in the seven sentence. Give me the sentence. They, uh, he's playing with his dinosaurs collection. Very good. What about the word living? Living. Where is the word living? Uh, in the living room. Second. Very good. Mary and her father are in the living room, right? Give me the complete sentence. Okay, the next one. Sofa. Three, two, one, sofa. The fam, uh, Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. Very good job. What about, uh, let me see, thesis. Thesis. T E A S E S. Thesis. Sometimes he teases Mary. Okay, what is the meaning of thesis? No, I don't know. Thesis. It's like, um, do you have brothers or sisters? Tienen hermanos o hermanas? Yes. Yes, all of you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. When we were younger, cuando estábamos más jóvenes, que vivíamos juntos, su hermano se sentaba a la par suya, right? Dame el control. Dame el control. Apurate. El control. Apurate. Quita eso. Dámelo. Dámelo. And he was bothering you. And you were like, oh, yeah, está quieto. No sé qué. So that is teasing. It's when, when they are bothering you a lot. And it'll be like, and you are like, oh, yeah, está quieto. Teases. It's like, molestar hasta el término de hostigar a alguien, right? That is to tease someone, right? De ahí cuando uno ya deja de tener hermanos, ya pues obviamente se casa y ellos toman ese lugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tease. That's the meaning. Tease. Molestar, hostigar. That's the meaning of that. The next Teacher, one. Pero... Sorry, uh -huh. pero ese es, el, ese es el verbo. Yes, that's a verb. Si quiero decir que alguien es hostigoso o como usarlo como adjetivo, como un adjetivo, sería esa misma palabra. Se puede usar no. de ambas formas. Ah, okay, no. Okay. no, in that case, it's naughty. And here you have it, right here. Naughty, but naughty has a different connotation. Oh. But because naughty is like pícaro, malvado, en, en, de, de manera mala, right? Because oh, okay. you also have mischievous. Mischievous is like travieso, pícaro. Okay. So, and... Mischievous, ¿cómo es? No. <laughs> mischievous. Mischievous. Me. No, mischievous, right? Mischievous. mischievous. And naughty, oh. naughty is like pícaro, malvado, right? Mm. Pícaro que va con, el, con, con dolo, alevosía, premeditación y ventaja, right? Naughty. Voy a poner esto aquí para que se caiga la Nati. Ha. That's naughty. Okay. The next one. The next word is chan, chan, chan. computer. You have different sentences, so you can use any. It's a computer fanatic. He's a computer fanatic, right? Good. Mm -hmm. The next one. A snack. He's in the kitchen preparing a snack. For He's all in the kitchen them. preparing a snack for all of them. What day is it? What day is it, people? What day is it on the reading? ¿Qué día es? Saturday. It's Saturday. Is it cold or hot? or rainy it's rainy it's, it's rainy. rainy right it's mm. rainy tell me the names of two family members tell me the names of two family members 
Harry. Mr. Harry. Mary, Harry. Jim. Okay, Mary, Jim. Lucy. 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 Tom. 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 Okay. Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy is the family cat, right? Okay. For sure. Yeah. So I am going to read it for you. Pay attention. Listen, because later you are going to read it for me. And it says, it's a rainy Saturday. It's raining a lot. And Mary and her family are spending the afternoon at home. Her uncles are visiting them. Mary and her father are in the living room. Mary is making a draw and her father, Mr. Harris, is surfing the net. They are also talking. Mary's older brother, Peter, is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. His little brother, Jim, is also in the living room. He is playing with his dinosaurs collection. Sometimes he teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. Mary's mother, Mrs. Harris, is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. She is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles, Lucy and Tom. They are from the nearest town and stop by to say hello. Fluffy, the family cat, is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. We can see him on this picture, but he is a true fluffy cat. We cannot see him because we are on a reading, right? We don't have a picture. He is a true fluffy cat. What is the meaning of fluffy? Esponjoso. Esponjoso, right? He's a fluffy cat. That's why he's called fluffy, right? Give me three sentences in present continuous. Give me three sentences in present continuous. With what? Word. Any okay. word? Any it's any It's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. What is the present continuous? Raining, I N G, right? It's raining a lot. Another one. Fluffy is sleeping on the kitchen sofa. Fluffy is sleeping in the kitchen sofa. Good. Another one. Peter is playing. Peter is playing, right? Another example. Family are spending the afternoon on the home. Very good. At the home. family are spending the afternoon at home. Good. Another one. Mrs. Mrs. Harvey. Uh -huh. Peter is cooking, prepare a snack. Very good. Food. She's preparing a snack for all of them. Right? She's preparing a snack for all of them. Good. Another one. With I am sleeping. It's also in the living room. Okay. Fluffy is sleeping. Uh, Mary and her father are in the living room. He is making some tea and talking to Mary's uncles. Okay, she's making some tea, right? In this case, living room is not an ING form. It is an ING, but living room is the name of the place. In this case, living room is la sala. Okay, mm -hmm. uh -huh. this one. Living room is the nombre sí. del lugar. Living room is la sala, right? Mary and her father are in the living room. The ING form is Mary is making a draw. In this case, the verb here we have is making, raining, spending, Rain. right? Uh, surfing, talking, playing, playing right? Play. Uh, playing on the computer. Sleeping. Jim is okay. We have playing again. And uh, let me see. He's playing with this dinosaur. Uh, preparing. preparing. Then making. talking. We have. Uh, let me see. Making. Sleeping. Okay, sleeping. Making. Making. Where is it? Ahí. Ah, she. Ahí. <laughs> Ahí. She's <laughs> making. Right. She's making some tea. So all these sentences are in present continuous. As you can see, you have the verb to be before. They are spending. They, in this case, living room is not an ING form. She is making, she is surfing. They are talking, right? He is in his bedroom playing computer games. He is playing computer games. He spends much time playing on the computer, right? He spends, in this case, this is a simple present. 
is also in the living room. He is playing, right? She is preparing. Mm? And in this case, you say she Está is abierto. she is making. He is talking, right? And the cat is sleeping, right? All of them have a previous verb to be and an ing form. Good. So from all these uh, words, is it something new for you? Hay alguna palabra nueva que no conozcan? Algo nuevo, alguna palabra nueva? No, yes. Pieces. Pieces, right? That, that's the one that I, yes. that I show you, right? Molestar, hostigar, sí, sacar sí. de quicio. Uh -huh. Tengo una, tengo una inquietud en yep. eh, respecto a cat is it sleeping. Mm -hmm. eh, tenía entendido que se ocupaba it en el caso para objetos y animales. Uh -huh. En este caso veo un is, o sea, uh -huh. que comúnmente se ocupa para, para personas. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, esa es mi inquietud, o sea, okay. lo común uh -huh, solamente se ocupa para personas, pero ahora lo veo ocupándose para un animal. Ok, lo que se ocupa en este caso para, sería el pronombre, que sería it. It uh -huh. siempre va a ir seguido de is porque es una tercera persona, aunque sea un objeto. En este caso no tenemos it porque tenemos el nombre del animal. Tenemos oh, aquí okay. que se llama, ¿cómo se llama? Fluffy. Y aquí solo nos, hacen, solo nos hacen esta intervención aquí que nos separa del verbo porque nos están haciendo una aclaración de quién es Fluffy. Right? Porque imagínense que solo dijera, Fluffy is sleeping on the sofa. Decimos, Fluffy es un niño, una niña, el primo. ¿Quién es Fluffy? Okay. The Fluffy, the family cat. Ese sería nada más la familia para, del gato. para aclarar. No, el gato de la familia. La familia del gato. <risa> el gato de la familia, right? Fluffy, the family cat is. Y aquí tenemos el verbo. Ajá. Okay. So in this case, Pero, this the verb, this verb is for fluffy. Uh -huh. Yes. No, que en ese caso le iba a comentar que sí tiene, tiene razón porque ahí le falta el apóstrofe con la S. Exactly like that, right? Here you say the family's cat. Okay, uh -huh. the family's cat. Aquí le faltaría el apóstrofe y la S. The family's cat, que es el gato de la familia. Pero es la familia gato, right? The family cat, si lo dejamos solo así, sin el apóstrofe. Good observation. Very good observation, right? And in this one, we want to clarify. Eso solo lo ocupamos para clarificar quién es Fluffy. ¿verdad? Porque si yo le digo, ah, Fluffy está dormido en el sofá. En ese like. Ok, o sea, o sea eh, conviene ser específico prácticamente. Exactly like that. So in English, you have to specify. Because if you say, it is a sleeping on the sofa. What? A cat, a dog, a giraffe? What is it, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we have here, Fluffy is a sleeping in the kitchen sofa. Fluffy, the family's cat, is a sleeping on the kitchen sofa. So we know who he is, right? Tenemos un contexto de quién es. And okay. in the case of it, <clears throat> lo podríamos ocupar en una segunda oración. Por ejemplo, eh, aquí, Dice, we can see him on the picture, porque ya sabemos que es un gato macho, right? We can see him on the picture, right? Aquí ya nos dice, cuando ocupamos esta palabra aquí, es que el gato no es niña, es niño, right? We can see, we can see him. ¿Por qué ocupamos him? Me va a decir usted. Porque sabemos que es el gato de la familia, o sea, tiene como cierto afecto. Ya sabemos, tiene, es parte de Right? We can claro. see him okay. on the picture. Pero aquí perfectamente le podríamos poner we can see it in the picture. Porque sabemos que es un gato, es un animal. Right? We can see it in the picture. And it will be the same meaning. Okay? So that's the explanation for this one. Okay. Good question. Very okay. good observation. You. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Muy buena observación. I like it. Any other question? Me, what is the meaning of the naughty boy? Ah, He's... the naughty boy. He's a really naughty boy. Es un niño bien malvado. 
bien malvado, bien pícaro. Es como quien dice, te, te amárrenlo, por Dios. It's a really naughty boy. Sí, sí, mi bendición es bien tranquila. La bendición en el techo. He's a really naughty boy. He'll be like, niño, no muerda al perro. Yeah, me han pasado casos. He's a really naughty boy, right? He's a really, really bad boy. And naughty, naughty can be for many different contexts, right? For a, a person that it's very um, mischievous, right? Alguien que sea demasiado pícaro en, el, en, en todos los aspectos. He's naughty. He's like, hey, come on. He's a naughty boy. He's malvado, malilla, fregado, right? So that's naughty. That's the meaning of naughty. So if you don't have any more questions, if you analyze everything about the reading, I have a couple of questions for all of you, for you to answer. I have six questions and I need uh, you to write the answers, okay? Escriban sus respuestas en, el, en su cuaderno. I am going to give you a couple of minutes for you to read it again. Go along the reading. Scan it. And once you have finished scanning, I am going to place the questions back. Okay. Ya la vieron? Ya la analizaron? Let's go over the answers. Go ahead. We have, what day of the week is it? Where's Mary? What is she doing? What is Mr. Harris doing? Is Mrs. Harris preparing a snack in the kitchen? And what is Fluffy the cat doing? According to the reading, Blanquita. According to the reading. Let's use the information from here. Vamos a usar esta información. Okay, we're going to use all this information to answer these questions. Write them on your notebook and then we're going to share them. What are we do? Ah, welcome back. We are answering the questions from the reading, right? We oh, have okay. the reading, right? We read the reading already, the one that we were just studying. And here I have the questions about the reading, right? I need you to write the answers uh -huh. in your notebook. What okay. day of the week is it? Where is Mary? What is she doing? What is Mr. Harris doing? Is Mrs. Harris preparing a snack in the kitchen? What is Fluffy the cat doing, right? Okay. According to this information that we have here, you are going to answer the questions on the next slide. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There you go.
Okay, Aleida finished already. Let's see. Aleida, do you have the first answer? What day of the week is it? Yes, teacher. It's a, it is Saturday. It is Saturday. Good. Who has number two? Where is Mary? Me. Uh -huh. She's at home. <laughs> She's at home. Specifically? Carlos, what do you have? She's in the living room. She's in the living room, right? She's in with the living room father. with her father. What is she doing? What is she doing? She's drawing. She's drawing. Very good. She's drawing. What is Mr. Harris doing? He's surfing net. He's surfing the net, right? He's surfing the net. Very good. He's surfing the net. Está interneteando. <laughs> right? He's surfing the net. Is Mrs. Harris preparing a snack in the kitchen? Yes, he is. Mrs. Harris? Yes, she is. Yes, she is, right? What is Fluffy the cat doing? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. On the kitchen sofa. sofa. Very good job. He is sleeping, right? Fluffy is sleeping right now. What a nice life of this cat. Good. So let me just move around and I'm going to move a little bit here on the book. On the book. Where is my book? Oh, here it is. Chan, chan, chan. Let me close this one and this one, and I'm going to go to my book. Here, I am going to open my book. Okay, in my book here, this is what we were doing in the previous class, right? But here, we have something a little bit different, and we have performance reports. What is the meaning of performance, people? What is the meaning of performance? Como desenvolverse? No, specifically, the meaning of performance will be this. Actuación. Eh, similar. Una mímica. <laughs> Una mímica. No. Desempeño. Desempeño. Tin, tin, tin. Very good. Employees performance report. Reporte del desempeño de quién? Please. Del empleado. Please. Right? De los empleados. Here I have Raúl Pérez. <laughs> El hermano de Raúl. Another lost friend, right? Raúl Pérez González, they say. So here, Raúl Pérez and Karen Solano. I have two employees here. And it says, the employee shows commitment to work. X. He is always punctual. You don't have information. The employee does not violate the rules. The employee follows indications. The employee likes to work in group. The employee focus on his responsibilities. The employee completes the work assigned. He is a leader. He communicates ideas. He is proactive, right? He is collaborative and he has a positive attitude, right? So he has many things, but he has a couple of observations. What are the observations for this person, people? Let me place them here for you. Las voy a mover aquí para que las podamos ver todos. What are the observations? Can you read with me, please? Observations. He usually, uh -huh. he usually, he usually comes, comes, comes late. late. He already has he already two, warnings. Has two warnings, warnings for coming, for coming late, late to, to work. work. But he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't uh, have... What? He doesn't have? Leadership skills. Leadership, right? Oh, leadership. leadership skills. And yeah. he's not pro he's not 
A proactive person. person. ¿Le subirían el sueldo? No. ¿Lo promoverían no. de rango? No. no. ¿Sería un buen empleado del mes? No. no. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the problem is that he comes late. Uh -huh. He doesn't have leadership skills. He is not proactive. He is not uh, following instructions. Does he arrive on time? Does he arrive on time to work? He is always comes late. He always comes late, right? El tráfico, no sé qué, el chucho, se me atravesó un gato, la niña Marina no me despachaba, mire. A lot of excuses, but he always comes late. People, have you ever received a warning at your job? ¿Alguna vez les han dado un llamado de atención en su trabajo? I never received a warning in my job. You have never received a warning? Never. Never ever. Uh -huh. I receive a warning because I am late. <laughs> because I am late. Uh -huh. Have you ever received a warning, people? Yes, teacher. I have received. About what? Um, because in my last work, um, sometimes I I cover the receptionist. Uh -huh. And when I was covering the receptionist, I had to do my functions and the receptionist function. Oh my God. But sometimes I have to stand up to make some copies or something like that. And I couldn't answer the, the phone. phone. So in those days, my after that because I missed uh, some calls and it was somebody calling from Mexico oh so another boss <laughs> and it, he said to my boss why is nobody answered the phone in oh the my reception God. and he sent me an email uh, but uh, telling me that uh, he needs that I um, submitted about uh, to sorry. help uh, to help with the reception when the reception is was not there. And, my oh God. my God! <laughs> and I was that's, like, it was not cool. my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you see, warning, right? But he yeah. has how many warnings does he have? ¿Cuántas warnings ha recibido esta persona? Two. two, right? He has two warnings. After the second warning, you sign a letter that you are not going to do that again. Como en el kinder, me promete que no va a volver a llegar tarde. Sí, señor. And you sign a letter, right? Committing that you are not going to do it again. And then you go <clears throat> arriving late again. Y allá va el perro arrepentido, llegando tarde. Again, it is hard, but what can we do? So here we have the second person. What happens with this poor lady? Um, commitment to work. She is always punctual. Nah, she does not violate the rules. She follows indications. She likes to work in groups. Uh -huh. Focus on her responsibilities. Completes the work assigned is a leader, communicates ideas, is proactive, is collaborative, and has a positive attitude. The observations. She usually comes late, but she does not violate, but she, ah, sorry, but she does violate the rules sometimes. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some cases, but she has leadership skills. In this case, would you promote her? for a different position? Maybe. No, because <laughs> Because she? Why wouldn't she you? Comes late. She comes late. And what is another thing? 
for the main reason why you wouldn't uh, promote her. She doesn't have a, a positive, positive attitude. She doesn't have a positive attitude, right? That's the first reason. And the most important reason, she does violate the rules sometimes, right? Little detail, right? A veces rompe la regla. A veces. But she has leadership skills. Ajá, pero para los malos. Y si nos afamos a las tres ahora, no va a dar cuenta el jefe. <laughs> she has leadership skills, but she's violating the rules. So she's good in sometimes and bad in the others. I have here a little, right? A little interview that I created for you because, I mean, I said, I really want to meet my students, I said. And I have here what we are going to use right now, right now to work, right? We're going to use this one to work. And what you are going to do is to interview your classmate, right? We are going to work in couples and you are going to ask your classmate the following questions. Be honest, okay? Do you arrive early to work? Do you follow I'm rules leader. and requirements? Do you consider yourself a leader? Are you committed to work? Do you work well in teams? Do you keep your space organized? Do you meet deadlines? Do you procrastinate? Are you focused on your responsibilities? Do you like your work environment? Do you walk the extra mile at work? Those are the questions <laughs> for you. Do you have questions about the questions? Preguntas de las preguntas? Yes, well, what's the meaning of deadlines? Deadlines, deadlines. Uh -huh. Do you meet deadlines? It means that this thing is for next Friday. Okay, this situation at work. A este reporte me lo tienen que entregar el viernes a las 7 de la mañana. A las 6 ya lo entregó. Do you meet deadlines? Right? Do you meet deadlines? Que si cumples con los eh, trabajos establecidos. Es para el jueves. So what ¿Ah? means procrastinate? Good question. El trabajo es para el jueves, usted lo entregó miércoles en la noche. You meet the deadlines, ¿ok? But what is procrastinate? Like ah, ok, procrastinate means when you say, ah, it's for Monday, ah, I'm going to start tomorrow. And tomorrow you say, maybe tomorrow. And tomorrow, tomorrow, you say, maybe on Thursday. No, 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 ya, yeah, justo Friday. I am going to start on Friday. No, el viernes ya, seguro el viernes sí lo hago. Saturday. Today at night. Hoy en la noche voy a empezar. Sunday morning. Later. Ah, va. Solo desayuno y lo hago. Mm -hmm. Sunday at midnight. You are doing everything because it's for Monday. And on Monday morning, you are finishing. Solo lo imprimo, espérate. On Monday morning. That is but to procrastinate. Everybody procrastinates <laughs> on things. <laughs> but that's a problem. For example, in, in, in the job, in for example, in oh, my yeah. case, right? In oh. my case, I cannot procrastinate. If I say, I mañana go las clases. <laughs> mañana is the day for the classes. So I cannot do it. And if you say like, Ay, mañana busco al teacher para ese grupo. No, I cannot do it. I mean, I have to do it because I cannot procrastinate. Hernán, tell me. Eh, procrastinar es, sería entonces. It's the same es as in Spanish, right? Es, But es, even in this. Última hora. Ajá. Dejar todo para última hora. Es típico salvadoreño. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quite, quitémonos esos estigmas, people. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I always, I always say, uh, when it is the deadline, <laughs> yeah, that's very common, Raúl. ¿Y para cuándo era? For yesterday. 
And then you start doing everything, right? Y si el reporte es para mañana. Aquí decía 20. Y hoy es 21. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And you start sending the reports, right? Procrastinate, right? That is something that we always do, but we don't have to do. Okay? Committed. Committed means comprometido, right? Are you committed to work? Are you committed to work? ¿De veras estás comprometido con tu trabajo, con lo que haces? Do you walk the extra mile at work? That is something very common in our country. That is not my job. I don't have to do that. Ahí está la basura y nadie la saca. Hey, bicho, ¿por qué no han sacado la basura? It is not my job to do it. But in some cases, you just go and do it, right? Clean up and everything. It happens to me that in some cases, the secretary says, Licenciada, déjelo, yo lo voy a hacer. Uh -huh, but, uh, even, but they do it when I go and do it, right? Cuando ya me ven haciendo las cosas. No, 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 ahorita licenciada, hacia eso iba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, ay, deje, yo lo voy a hacer. And the things have been there forever. So do you walk the extra mile? Do you take initiative at your work? Toman la iniciativa de hacer otras cosas que tal vez ustedes están en sus capacidades, aunque no estén en sus eh, actividades. Do you do it? Yes or no? That is to walk the extra mile. Do you follow rules and requirements? Está prohibido venir en jeans rotos. Your jeans. Why? <laughs> No, that they say, like, miren, por favor, no vengan en tenis. You go in tenis. Miren, vengan casual formal. Camisa de la Argentina. Formal Friday. Formal Friday. <laughs> okay. When you say, please. I mean, no cell phones at work. TikTok. At them. <laughs> Nadie me ve. Right? Integrity means to do the right things even when no one is watching. Are you integral at your work? No coman en el área de trabajo. The churritos there. Right? <laughs> It happened to me once, I remember. Yo estaba dando una clase y de repente cuando yo escribí en la pizarra, oye él. Me daba vuelta y, y nada. Seguía escribiendo. Crunch, 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 crunch. That was so, so strange, right? But it sounded very crunchy. And I was like, what are they eating? And all of a sudden I did like if I was going to continue. So like, ha! And there was this person with a, a lot of green mango in a <laughs> container. And I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing with that in my class? I said, but he was like, Crunch, 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 crunch. Eating the green mango, but it was so crunchy that all the classroom could listen to it. And with the big sign, right? Había un gran rótulo en la entrada que estaba prohibido comer en el salón. And it was not food, it was not bread, it was not something that I said, like, tal vez un sandwich, cualquier cosa, tenía hambre. No, I was just eating her green mango there. And I said, okay, lo pone aquí, vamos a comer todo. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but Do you follow the rules? Do you follow the requirements? Do you consider yourself a leader? A positive one. Okay. <clears throat> Do you work well in teams? Do you keep your space organized? Jefe, si aquí lo tengo, yo lo sé. <laughs> and you are moving everything, right? Papers and things and a churrito and the cup and the bottle of water. And you have everything there. Do you keep your space organized? I don't know, right? Uh, do you, are you focused on your responsibilities? And do you like your work environment? It means like if you like the people that you work with and if you walk the extra mile. So those are the questions that you are going to ask to your classmate and he's going to ask you, okay? Imagínense que yo estoy trabajando, por ejemplo, con José Luis. Entonces yo le voy a decir a José Luis, José Luis, do you arrive early to work? Yes or no? And I'm going to write. And if he says, yes, teacher, I do. Okay, he arrives early. Okay, do you follow the rules? 
Yes, teacher, I do it. Okay, he follows rules. Do you consider yourself a leader? He is a leader. Okay, I am going to write his information. And then he is going to ask me the questions and he is going to write my information. Okay, because later you are going to create a small report. Lo que van a hacer ustedes no van a ocupar las respuestas que les dé aquí, sino que van a hacer un reporte chiquito, así como el que vimos aquí en el libro. You are going to do a short report like this one about your friend. Okay. Este reporte es el que van a hacer acerca de su amigo, acerca de su amiga. Okay. The one that you are going to interview right now. You are going to work in couples. Todos van a trabajar en parejas. So uh, that's what, I, what we are going to be doing right now. I am going to be listening on the groups only, okay? I am going to go to the different groups, but I won't interrupt because you are going to be interviewing. Ustedes son los que se van a estar entrevistando. And please keep information for you to write your report, okay? So right now I am going to give you, let me see. I have 10 minutes for the interview and then I am going to bring you back, okay? I am going to bring you back after the 10 minutes for you to write your report. They le voy a dar un tiempo ya todos juntos aquí para que todos hagan el report, okay? So right now we are going to go to working groups for you to interview your friends, okay? Okay, okay, so we are going to go and work. I have nine groups. Okay, let me just create this. And I am going to send you to work there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're ready. Let's go to the groups. Okay, Rafael, Jasmine, Juan Francisco, I am missing you to go to your group. Okay, Jasmine, no recibiste mi invitación para ir a los grupos. Rafaelito.
Hello, Rafael. Can you listen to me? Hello, Rafael. Can you listen to me? Okay, Rafaelito, if you can listen to me, please. Your group is waiting for you. Um, are you focused on your responsibilities? Yes, I am focused on my responsibilities. Okay. Do you like your work environment? Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Sorry. I have my, my, my dinner. It's okay. Don't worry. And the, the last one, do you walk the extra, no, do you walk the extra mile at work? Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> I use word the the word that I have to do and only that. 
<laughs> because I have I my work is important, but I have another things that are important too. Okay. Okay, and and you do you arrive early to work? Yes, always. I'm arriving early to my job. And do you follow rules and requirements? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> because maybe the rules is maybe algo tonta, podría decir. Silly, silly rules. Silly. <laughs> I'm not following them. <laughs> okay. Continue. And. Uh, Ay. 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 Entré justo en el ay. What, what happened, Sofía? Uh -huh. um, yes. Okay. The focus on my responsibility. Ah, if you're focused on your responsibility, that's difficult. It's difficult to focus on your responsibilities. Yes. You but like it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> continue, continue. Carlitos, go ahead. Ya lo vine a interrumpir. Permítame, se me perdió la captura. Do you consider yourself a uh, Leader? Yes, I consider myself a leader. A good one. Y si nos vamos todos a las tres ahora. Para eso, para lo malo. Continue, continue. Are you committed to work? Yes, I am committed uh, to work. And do you the next, the next uh, is do you meet deadlines? Deadline. Deadlines. Hello. Deadline is like when you have yes. a deadline. Deadline is deadline. Is yeah. when you have a a to do. Uh -huh. When you have a task to do. Yeah. Deadlines son los como los eh, tiempos de entrega. Sí. Do you meet deadlines? Well, okay. Rafael no tiene opción para no cumplir deadlines. No. No, usted no tiene opción para no cumplir las deadlines. Imagínese que le dice, vaya a traer a tal persona a tal hora al aeropuerto. Ese es su, ese es su, su deadline. Ajá. Entonces, Rafael, no, no. no puede. Entonces, no. usted... No puedo, no solo eso, porque de repente mi jefe me dice, necesito el carro en 25 minutos. Tiene que estar lavado, chequeado, fuleado. <risa> en 22, no en 25. No, no es mentira. Y, y solo la gasolinera hacemos ida y vuelta, hacemos 24 minutos, 25, <risa> dependiendo. No, ya, ya hacemos, hacemos 10 minutos de la base a la puma que está en el aeropuerto y de la en lo que fuliamos en cinco minutos, o sea, tenemos un tiempo bien cuando ellos necesitan los carros. Born to be wild. Esos son sus deadlines. Y no puede procrastinate tampoco. You cannot procrastinate. Hay no. más tarde, nothing. No, nothing. Entonces, yes, yes, yes. Do, do you meet deadlines? Yes. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good answer. Is it, uh, the, uh, Sunday, the past, I go to the Guatemala for the Antigua Guatemala for the, the for flowers. For the flowers. Yeah, that was a very beautiful event. I saw yeah. it. Uh, Saturday tonight, my, my family come back to the hotel. I go to the, the, the dinner. Oh, and, nice. Oh, in China, China, a restaurant. A Chinese restaurant. restaurant. Chinese restaurant is good. I imagine. <laughs> good. Okay, continue with your questions. Go ahead. I will okay. go and interrupt another group. 
The next Rafael is, do you procrastinate? Pro Hi, teacher. Hello. Oigo unos ofertones Hello. ahí. Yes, we, we, are, we are promoting. We, we well, I, can, I can listen. I was like, what? I can listen to some ofertones there. <laughs> Por 9.99, I don't know why. Did you finish no. asking your questions? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So what did you discover? Do you discover that Wilbur procrastinates a lot or that Magdiel procrastinates or that you are very clear at your job? Well, uh, 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 adelante, adelante. I don't have a clear exactly what, um, what does mean procrastinate. <laughs> procrastinate is like uh, dejar todo para último momento. Ah. Es ir dejando las cosas para después. So that is the meaning of procrastinate. When you say, for example, it's for tomorrow, later on, teacher. No, for yesterday. No, I am going to, I am going to do it tomorrow. I am going to do it later. And then you start like procrastinating. It's like eh, que lo vas como dejando, lo vas dejando, lo vas dejando para más tarde. Y siempre el más tarde ya es tarde. <laughs> so, <laughs> It is, that is to procrastinate. It's like, ah, leave, leave it for later, right? Lo vas como dejando, lo vas delegando para otro día, para más tarde. And then when you realize it is too late, right? Okay. In your, in your case, I think that uh, Wilbur is a good employee. He's a good employee because he doesn't procrastinate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks the extra mile at work. Yes, yes. And he works well as a team. Yes. And Good. he arrived he arrived early to work. Okay, he arrives <laughs> early to the office. What about Magdiel Wilbur? Well, um uh, he is uh how can I say it? Uh, we both uh, equal. Okay, uh -huh. okay, we work equally. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, equally. So uh I mean, he is available for a promote. He is available for a promotion. So, good, very good. Magdiel, congratulations. <laughs> so, you. on your little report, you have to say, well, Magdiel is a very responsible person. He is very committed to work. He arrives early. He works a lot. On the report that you have to write about Magdiel, so you have to highlight all these good things that he does, okay? So we are going to go back to the main room because we are going to work a little bit on the report and uh, we're going to finish with this, okay? Okay. Thank go you, back. Me salí sin querer. I brought you. Yo me los traje a todos. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Y Wilber, ¿quién me sacó de mi sala? No, I, I was the one. Don't worry. No, es que ya me ha pasado que me saca de la, del grupo, pero en realidad el, la plataforma me saca y ya, ya no puedo entrar a veces. Oh, really? Me pasó, yeah, me pasó el... el, el Creo que viernes, fue la semana pasada, eso. el viernes, ajá. El viernes me pasó. Yeah, but I think it's a matter of... Yo creo que a veces le damos salir en vez de darle salir de la sala. Y ahí es el problema. Porque están como los dos botoncitos justo uno sobre otro. Y a veces le damos salir. Y le damos salir de la sesión. Y no sure. salir de la sala. Hello, Raúl. I have a question that I always have a confused. Uh, for example... When when someone asks me, do you like? But when I when I respond, I I know that that I know that use the the verb do. So mm -hmm. I confuse in, in this part when when I try to to respond. If is yes I do or yes I yes I like in this case. For example, do you like your your work environment? Okay, you can say, yes, I do. I like my job environment. You can combine the answers. Or you can say, yes, I like my work environment. Y ya no ponemos el do. 
Ah, Ahí okay, tiene que okay. decir, si va a decir primero, yes, I do, sería su respuesta corta. Y si oh, quiere dar más información, yes, I do, I like my work environment. No yes, tiene que decir, yes. I do like my work environment. No. Yes, I do, I like it a lot, you can say. Or, okay. yes, I like my work environment. I get it. That, okay. I, I, I always confuse in, in this specific case. Yes, it is, it is kind of difficult in some cases, but the most common thing is to answer in a short form. You say, yes, I do, right? Or you say, yes, I like it, okay? Yes, I like my work environment, a complete answer, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Good. Poor Nelson, he's full of flu, okay? Hasta aquí siento la gripe. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, Rafael Alexander, I was looking for you. <laughs> Lo andábamos buscando, como cuando me sentí como la directora que anda buscando a los niños Sorry, perdí. Sorry, you know, Rafael, Rafael, where are you? Rafael. Ya, yeah, me sentí en mi trabajo. <laughs> In my real job. When I am like, where are the kids? No, o sé, sea, aquí estaba, acabo de ver a ese niño, ¿dónde está? And I am looking in all the, the place for him. Ok, so. You collected information about your friends, right? You collected all the different uh, answers from uh, this part, right? You collected all the different information. And what comes next with all that information is that you are going to create the report about your friend, right? And in the report, I don't want you to say, yes, he arrives early. Yes, he follows rules. Yes, he is a leader. Yes, he is committed. No. You have to write a report explaining about the person, right? You have to write a report explaining about this uh, specific classmate. So you are going to say, uh, <clears throat> imagine that you are writing the report about uh, uh, Paquito, right? Paquito is one of my friends. So you say, Paquito is a very good worker, right? Paquito has a, a lot of a, highlights that I want to mention. He always arrives early to work. He follows a lot of rules and requirements. Jo uh, Paquito, right? Joaquin Leos. <laughs> Paquito is a very good leader. He loves working in teams. And I like his office because it is always organized, right? He Uh, hands in everything on time. He is very, he's a very good leader and he's always focused on what he has to do, right? He is the soul of the office. He is always happy. He is always collaborating and he is always walking the extra mile. So I think that Paquito is a very good candidate for a promotion in our office. Attentively, Nati, right? So you are going to write a short report about why your friend is such a fantastic person to be promoted, okay? You are going to write a short report why me, as the boss of the office, should uh, promote him or her, okay? ¿Por qué debería yo ascenderlo de puesto? ¿O por qué yo no debería de ascenderlo de puesto? Maybe say like, yeah, Nati is a very good leader, but he, she always arrives late and I think she needs to work a little bit more on her leadership skills. She has to work uh, in teams a little bit more. I know that Nati is a good teacher, but she needs to organize her office because it's very messy, right? So I think she needs to be promoted, but later. Not right now. Okay. Depending on the answers. Right? Ustedes tienen las respuestas de sus compañeros. Vaya, si lo promovemos o no lo promovemos. Aquí no, que, ay, que es mi amigo, se va a sentir mal. <laughs> It's okay. Write your report about the information that you got. Okay. And you are going to use the reports tomorrow in class. So try to do it. Try to write it down. And once you have it, Uh, I need you, please, to keep it ready. Write it on your notebook and keep it ready for tomorrow. Okay? So we are going to be using that in class. Don't forget it. Mañana, una cinco, seis, siete líneas. The report about your friends. 
If you have any more questions, you can send a message to your friends to clarify information. But that is going to be for tomorrow because now you are going to go to sleep. Have a beautiful night, my dear class. We are going to stop here. And tomorrow we are going to start with this. The attendance. Thank you very much. Okay. Algunos se fueron, teacher. Pase lista. Ah. Good, good. Me, me gustó, me gustó esa parte. Very good. Okay, when I uh, say your name, you can go to sleep. Okay. Here I go. Hay algunos que se salieron, teacher. Yo quiero usted pasar al listado veces más. <laughs> y no es por meter cizaña. No, no quiere. <laughs> a lady Esmeralda. Present teacher. Have a, Have a good night, night. Andrea Sofía. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Good Have night. A good night, Carlos Torres. Present. Good night. Bye bye, Helen Nielsen. Good night. Bye bye, Cesar. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Eric Jose. Present teacher. Good night. Have a good night, Hernán. Have a good night, Horacio. Good night. Present teacher. Good Have night. Have a beautiful night, Jose Luis. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, Juan Francisco. Have a good night, Carla Guadalupe. Uh, she has to leave. She had to leave. Nelson, be careful. Treat that illness, Thank okay? You. Have a good night. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night, Paola Elena. Have a good night, eh, Rafael Alexander. You stay for a moment, okay? Eh, Raúl Anto Rafael Antonio, have a good night. Present, good night. Wilber Alberto, have a good night. Present, good night. Thank you, Jasmine. Have a good night. Present, eh, teacher. Thank you. And Magdiel, Esaú, have a beautiful night. Okay. Thank you, Present my dear teacher. classmates. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. See you. Have a good night. See you later. Mr. Rafael, I am going to take six minutes of your life for Hello. this one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, let me just send Juan Francisco to the waiting room. Okay. Thank Sorry, you, Rafael. Yeah. There was a problem with the internet. Don't worry. Don't worry. I was there just like, Rafael, what are you? Porque ahí estaba, estoy solo, no tengo amigo, ¿dónde está mi amigo? <laughs> Your partner. And I was like, okay, okay, no moment. Okay. So thank you very much for staying in this one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. This, this uh, section is uh, just to share a little bit about how have you felt in classes? How uh, have you been uh, feeling the development? Your self-improvement? And for sure, if you have any specific question and for me to help you discover the things that you need to work on, okay? So that is the, the main idea. Okay, el, el, el uno a uno es para que usted me comente un poco cómo se ha sentido en las clases, qué le han parecido, algo específico en lo que tiene que mejorar y en lo que yo le pueda colaborar. So, so. For me, the... the... The class are the okay. And I have a problem with the past tense. The past tense yeah. is our friend for the rest of the week. Uh, uh, I have a problem getting the, 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 the verb in the past tense because the AD, the, the, the ending. I, I can, I can't hear. Uh, no sé cómo decir. Me cuesta bastante saber cuando se está hablando en el pasado. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Casi el, el, bueno, si no me equivoco, quizás el 80% de todo lo que se dice en inglés es en pasado. Porque ya, ya estuvo. O sea, son acciones sí. que ya están terminadas. Es, son como bien limitados los hechos cuando hablamos en simple present, cuando hablamos en present continuous, son como hechos específicos, pero la mayoría de cosas, si usted se fija, son cosas que ya hicimos. Por bueno, este día tal cosa, y hace rato tal cosa, y hace un minuto tal cosa. So, it's pretty complicated. From tomorrow until Monday, 
we are going to be working in past tense. Ese va a ser nuestro amigo todo lo que resta de la semana y el lunes, el pasado. And so it's, a going, it's going to be a very good moment for you to refresh and practice. We are going to study a lot of the verbs, pronunciation, the differences in pronunciation, well, the times on which we use it. We're going to be developing a lot on, on past tenses, right? Affirmative, negatives, and interrogatives. So that is going to be a good moment for you. Okay. And about uh, it's English in general, about English in general, what is the most difficult part for you besides the the past tense do you consider that listening is difficult speaking reading writing what is the most difficult part for you hmm. i think is uh uh cons constructing the, the the sentence okay building up building up why do you think in spanish too much Eh, es que no sé no yo siento que es un bloqueo mental porque porque, porque no debería de darme problemas pero pero manejar los verbos más el ed en no sé por ejemplo uh, es que es bien complicado porque no, no, no sé cómo expresarlo. El, el, cualquier verbo que más el de, eh, bueno, no sé, usted, no sé si usted tiene el problema. Por ejemplo, yo no puedo pronunciar la X. The X. Hay, uh -huh. hay, 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 ajá, hay varios nombres, eh, por ejemplo, en, en, en México, que uh -huh. terminan con X. Yo no lo sabía uh -huh. hasta que hablé. Hasta que hablé con un mexicano, por ejemplo, si balba o cosas así, me es bien difícil pronunciarlos. Y es lo mismo que me pasa en inglés con, el, con, el, con la terminación ed. Ah, y lo chistoso Ajá. es que el, el, eso es bien complicado y a veces este, nosotros le queremos poner la misma pronunciación a todo. Y eh, lastimosamente, por ejemplo, en la cuestión de los verbos tienen tres sonidos distintos. Es un, es que, que está como el id, el did, el tit. Tenemos como la, la I, la IT, de ahí la D y la T en los pasados. Entonces, eso le puede enfocar un montón, al menos eh, mañana. No, mañana vemos verbos en general. El miércoles tenemos pronunciación de los verbos. Y ahí es donde vemos las tres columnas de los verbos regulares, por ejemplo, que son los que dan la, la mayor parte de la dificultad. Donde ahí ustedes se van a dar cuenta cuáles son los que suenan como ID. Say like visit, visited. Okay, visited, started. Okay, pero tienen su forma específica. Todos los que terminan en, en D o en T, que no sé qué, entonces usted dice, ah, chis, eso nunca me lo dijo nadie, vea. Entonces, ahí les voy a mandar unas, unas, unas tablitas, unas imágenes de, de dónde van esas categorías de verbos. Porque lo que uno quiere hacerle es todo el D, D, T, a todos le quiere ponerle la misma terminación, vea. Y ahí es donde nos metemos en el problema. Y tal vez nosotros mismos nos frustramos de decir, es que no, no, no me sale. Cuando en realidad es que no estamos siguiendo como la estrategia adecuada. Los irregulares sí. todos tienen como su forma específica y no hay donde perderse. Es sí. like, I, I went, okay, go, went, right? You don't change anything. But in the regular forms, we have specific categories. Yo creo que ahí les voy a quitar un, un gran peso encima a todos cuando digan, ah, chis, había tres categorías. Nadie me dijo nunca. ¿Por qué? <ríe> Porque nadie me enseñó esto antes. Mm, okay. You will see. You will okay. see. And uh, let's see about the past tenses. And also in the order of ideas, the problem in some cases is that we try to think too much in translating the sentence from Spanish to English exactly mm. as it is. And as we saw in the examples today, así como les hice en los ejemplos de ahora, de las preguntas, ¿cómo lo diría usted en español? Said, it's totally different, but we think just exactly as we do it in English. So eh, that gives me an idea where to help you, okay? I, I, esa parte del one-on-one -on -one me gusta porque me da la oportunidad de conocer cada caso de ustedes 
y ver dónde es que ustedes necesitan ayuda. Entonces ahora ya veo, Rafael, necesita mucha ayuda en pronunciación, mucha ayuda en grammar yes, construction. Es extraño porque a days I, I can uh, I have a, per, a perfect uh, pronunciation. Tengo la, la, uh -huh. la pronunciación perfecta y no me cuesta nada, pero hay días que estoy tan cansado como uh -huh. hoy que, que en una cosita tan leve se me, me, me traba la lengua. Yeah, I know. It, it's a uh -huh. matter of, of how, how tired your brain is. So, but yeah. it is understandable. I imagine how difficult it is to handle all the information during the day and then a lot of English during the night, a lot of listening to me speaking in English, a lot of listening to your friends. So I understand. So don't worry, don't panic, okay? I am going to be helping you during this week that we are left for the past tenses and grammar construction, okay? So okay. Rafael, go to sleep right now. I need you to rest for tomorrow. Have a good night. Don't stay awake, okay? No se quede despierto. Bye, <laughs> Okay. Okay, Thank have you. a good night. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Good Bye. Night.